Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial with one of the new spring limited edition eyeshadow trios from Wet n Wild and this is in Heart and Heavy. I'm currently doing a giveaway with the complete limited edition spring collection from Wet n Wild so if you haven't entered that giveaway yet I'll link that video down below so just go check that out if you'd like to enter. But like I said today I'm doing a tutorial on Heart and Heavy which has a really beautiful egg plant purple shade, a really pretty pink, and like a light shimmery white. I went ahead and did my foundation and filled my brows in. If you're curious as to what products I used, I will have everything listed down below. But next I'm just going to go in with this Maybelline Brow Precise highlighter thing. And I'm just going to use this to highlight underneath of my brow bones. And I'm also going to use this product as an eyeshadow like base and I'm just going to put it all over my eyelids. Next for my crease, I'm going to go in with the bronzer that I'm going to be using today and this is just the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in the color Sunny. It's just like a matte warm tone bronzer. And since this little trio doesn't have like a warm like transition shade, that's why I'm using my bronzer. Just going in with my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just going to lightly blend that here in the crease. But that's always a good tip if you have like a little eyeshadow palette that doesn't have a good transition shade. Just use your bronzer that you're going to use for like the, transi the transitional color. Um, that's what I always do. So I'm just using little circular motions and windshield wiper motions to blend that shade in. And then I'm just going to take the leftovers here on the underside of my eye. Next I'm going to go in with this middle shade right here. It's just like that really dark purple. And I'm just going to use my Sigma E55 shading brush. And I'm just packing a lot of that color here on this brush. Tapping off the excess and then I'm just going to stamp this color here on the last kind of half of my eye. And I am going to go in with some other brushes, but first I just want to make sure that's really intense right here. And then I'm just going in with the pencil E30 brush by Sigma and getting some more of this purple shade on there. And I'm just going to shape out the outer V. And this purple is such a beautiful purple shade. It's such a pretty like eggplant purple. It's really pretty and it's super intense. It's just a really pretty color. Just gonna kind of take it into here like that. And then I will go back and blend. I'm just trying to get the color and shape down first. I'm just gonna run a little bit of it here on the lower lash line. Okay, and then before I blend this out, I'm gonna go in with the pink shade the bottom shade right here. And I'm gonna flip this E55 shading brush. See, this was the side that we used. I'm gonna flip it over to the clean side and use the clean side with the pink. And just pack it on the brush there. Knock off the excess. And then I'm just gonna pat this pink shade here on the first half of the eyelid. And I'm just overlapping it over top of that purple just to blend it. And I will go back with some purple and kind of just like, and then get pink on the other side and just kind of like go back and forth like this just to help to blend the two shades together. That's kind of like my trick that I do when I'm using two shades like that because it really helps to just blend everything. And then I'm just cleaning off this E55 shading brush on my V Ramona color switch. And this is just going to get that excess eyeshadow off of there so we don't have that dark purple on there anymore. And then I'm just going in with some of this pink here on the tip of this E55 shading brush. And I'm going to run this pink like right down here on the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to go in and blend this out. So I'm just going in with the Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm just going to lightly go over the edge of this darker purple. 
just using little circular motions over the edges. I mean, I'm just lightly, I'm not going in really hard. I'm just lightly going over it just to help blur it out because I want to keep that shape down, but I don't want it to look harsh like that because that doesn't look good. And I just keep going over it lightly until I get it blended out the way that I want it. And then I'm just going back in with the tiniest bit of this purple on the tip of this E25 blending brush. And I'm just blending that out. I'm just blending that out some more. And if it gets a little too far down, you can always go in with like a clean brush and just kind of go like this to kind of help sharpen that back up. And then I'm going to go in with this very top color here in this palette and this e.l.f. eye defining brush. It's just like a small angled brush. Just lightly putting that color here on the brow bone just to highlight a little more. And I'm also going to pop some of that same color here in the inner corner. And then I'm just gonna go back with some of this Sunny Bronzer on that same E40 blending brush. And I'm just gonna lightly put some of that bronzer here at the top of the crease where it meets the brow bone just to kind of blend a little more and to warm things up. Then for my liquid liner, I'm just going in with this L'Oreal Gel Liner Infallible um, Lacquer Liner. And this is in the shade Espresso. It's a very, very dark black and brown. And I'm just using my Wet n Wild angled brush to apply this gel liner. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more of that same gel liner and I'm just going to smudge it here on my waterline. And also up here on my tight line. Then I'm just going to curl my eyelashes with my eyelash curler. And I'm going to be going in with a mix of these two mascaras today. The Essence Eye Heart Extreme and my CoverGirl the Super Sizer Mascara. And then for my bronzer today, I'm going to be using the NYC Bronzer and Sunny, the same one that I used on my eyes. And I'm just going to use this to contour and bronze today. So I'm just going in with my mini Eda brush from NARS. And I'm just going to put down like my contour shape and then I'm going in with my um, Real Techniques powder brush to just kind of bronze and blend that out. I don't know if you can hear the birds outside my window but they're like super chirpy and it just sounds really pretty this morning. They're excited that it's getting to be springtime around here too. So yeah I'm just excited that it's starting to warm up and not be so cold around here anymore. Like, I'm so over winter. Not the biggest fan of winter anyhow. Like spring, summer, and fall, those are like my favorite seasons. I could just do without winter. Just one good like snow and then that's it. <laughs> and then I'm just using that bronzer to just kind of bronze up here under my jawline and on my neck. And so that's what that bronzer looks like. I mean, it is a little warm toned, but I think it looks really pretty. I really like this bronzer. And then for my blush today, I'm going to use another one of the Wet n Wild Limited Edition Spring products. And this is the uh, shade in Flirt on the Street. And this is just the Cheek and Lip Tint, which I've actually, I haven't used it on my lips. So maybe I'll try that out on my lips today and see how that works. Um... But I'm just using like a synthetic brush. Actually, let's use the Wet n Wild one. Where is that at? 
So I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild Synthetic Blush Brush. With these types of cream blushes, you always want to use like a synthetic brush because it's going to put down like the most product. Like it's just going to work better with, you know, with a cream product. So, And as you can see, this color is just so pretty. I mean, I love all of the blushes that they came out with in this limited edition spring collection. They are all beautiful. For my lip liner, I'm just going to go in with this shade here. It's called Tiramisu. It's one of the Rimmel, it's like rubbed off, Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liners. And then I just kind of smush my lips together to kind of just blend it out because I don't want to fill it in completely. All right, let's just see how this works. I mean, honestly, when you put it just directly on your lips, it does feel like a lipstick. I mean, these things are pretty much like giant lipsticks. <laughs> Yeah, that actually works out really good. I really like using it as a lipstick. You know, I just saw this sitting here and I think I'm gonna actually use this as my highlight today and see how this works out. This is one of the CoverGirl uh, single eyeshadows in the shade Champagne. So let's just use this as a, as a highlight today and see how that works out. That is gorgeous as a highlight. Okay, so pretty. If you are really dark skin tone, it might be like a little too much, but it looks really pretty as a highlight. This color and shade paint, it almost has like a bluish undertone to it. It's so pretty. Just kind of blend it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to take just a little bit of that and just put it on my nose just a little. Just so it kind of brings, and right here, just so it brings everything together. I will be doing uh, tutorials with the other two palettes, the one in Holographic Heart and Will You Marina Me. So just stay tuned for those tutorials. And like I said, I am doing a giveaway on all of these Wet n Wild limited edition spring collection things. If you haven't seen that video yet, and if you'd like to enter the giveaway, just go check out that video. I'll link it down below. I'm going to have that video or that giveaway open for the next week. So yeah, just go enter that giveaway if you would like to win all of the new Wet n Wild stuff. Don't forget to like this video if you do like these types of videos and I hope that you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.